So everyone's talking about Callaway this week. The reason is, is because the Triple Diamond Max has just come out. So it got me thinking too, I'm curious to see what Callaway driver, Paradigm driver is best for me. So I've got the old one, I've got the new one, and then I've got the new, new one. So let's, let's check it out. I've got the old Paradigm, and the reason we're talking about it today is because I've, I'm currently playing the new one. Trying to discern how much better the new one is than, than kind of this guy, because to me, this was a great driver. I hit it really well, I hit it long, but the new one, obviously we're gonna see today what, what it does differently. Yeah, so I mean, Paradigm Triple Diamond is, generally it's for faster players, right? It's for someone who, generally can draw it and doesn't want to hook it. Um, it's more fade bias. It's a little bit kind of different looking than some of the standard Paradigm stuff, as in shape. It's a smaller head as well, so 440 cc's. So it's it's generally for a faster person who wants higher launch and lower spin and more fade biasness. So that's kind of why I play it, because if not, I hook everything else. So this is a, a good club for me. Every driver nowadays, it seems like, is quite forgiving. I think that's the, the theme of 2024 is forgiveness. but. For me in my category and in this player's category, spin retention is extremely important. For a higher speed player, generally when they miss hit a shot, they spin it a lot. So it's not that they lose a ton of ball speed because drivers are pretty good at maintaining ball speed now. It's more that the thing spins off three to 4,000 off the heel. Um, where I've noticed that, I mean, in playing this driver, the good was great and the bad was pretty darn good too. I launch it really high. So what I've noticed, I mean, that there's a good example too, is like I launch it extremely high. Um, when I initially went into this, I was playing a Titleist driver and I launched, I hit it great, but I launched it like 10 or 11. This thing is launching significantly higher. So like that was 13.2, which for me is not really a commonality. Like I don't see that very often unless I'm really trying to. That's kind of what I'm seeing here right now. I feel like I know where it's going. I feel like I know when I hit it a little bit left, and I know when I hit a good one. Um, and the misses seem to kind of be okay. There's that last one, there was a bit of a misread on spin. So um, that's one of the things that you deal with the track man. Every once in a while you get, when you hit a weird portion of the face, you kind of get a weird spin rate, which I will tell you right now that that's not correct. It's italicized on track man, which means that it was guessed, it wasn't measured. It guessed it so high because I launched it so high. Um, but I actually, if you've noticed all the last four or five, I've spun this extremely low. So almost like 14, 1500. So I don't think 38 is in the, in the wheelhouse. We're moving in, obviously I'm hitting the old, older paradigm. I'm gonna hit the new one in a second here. Solid. So obviously with the new one, I'm looking for minor improvements, right? I mean, like, I know it looks the same, kind of. Um, the top line's a little bit different. Obviously it's, it's gray versus navy blue, so there's a bit of an aesthetics difference as well, but I'm just looking for more better, right? I mean, this thing's great. I would just prefer if, it, if it's, I mean, it's funny, because I actually spin it too low, and I have it in the highest spin setting. So if I could probably spin it a little bit more, um, I think that would help me feel a little bit more comfortable that like, I'm not gonna catch it off the toe and snap hook it. So ideally just a little bit higher spin um, and ideally keep the same launch mechanics and keep the, keep the same ball speed because it's, it's fast. All right, well, I'm excited to see this because I mean, it's the driver I'm playing and I was just telling the, the gentleman behind the camera that the old one feels pretty good. It does, it feels a little firmer off the face, which obviously like softer is better. Um, it feels like there's a little bit more feedback on that one too. Like I know where I miss it more often. This thing is like, it seems to mask it a little better, but it looks great down by the golf ball. There's no, on the old paradigm, there's this little wing that kind of attaches, it's like where they weld things and it, it's a little bit off-putting. Um, I like a cleaner top line and this thing definitely does that. The weld marks and all the places where they've kind of glued the, the carbon, well, to the carbon as well and to some of the titanium, a lot cleaner. So when I say that, like some of the other ones were a little smudgy and just didn't look as great. So it seems like they've manufactured this driver better just from what I've seen out of the tin. So let's hit it here and see what we get.
funny. So that one was, that was hit really well. But it was a little tiny bit in the heel. So it gave me a little bit, my face was shut, but I got a little bit of gear effect. So it curved right. But that was still really good efficiency and really good numbers. That felt incredible. It's funny, it's, I, I hit it straighter. The other one, I felt like I curved it a little bit more or had to curve it more to keep it straighter. Um, that was like as straight as I've hit a golf shot. Zero face the path there, so very good. This is Callaway's current beast, right? So this is their triple diamond. Came out in January, February for Canada. Um, it's still a re like relevant when people come in here. It's definitely a driver that we keep in the, in the drawers right now. I'm fitting with it every single week. So like I use it on the golf course, but I also use it in here a lot. Um, we have a, this is a nine degree head just for reference too. Um, we also have a 10 and a half degree head as well. So it's, it's still relevant. It's still honestly for a guy that's a little bit faster. It's probably one of the five drivers, the first five drivers that I pull out for somebody, right? It's, it always seems, especially if you're a drawer of the golf ball, it seems to just want to stay straighter. And especially if you're a higher spin guy, it takes the spin off, um, which I find interesting because this newer one, I'm spinning more and, but not in a bad way, like more, it's, it's, it's enough, if that makes sense. Um, but it is definitely a little bit more than the other one. So I'll have to look at the data afterwards, but let's try one more here. Numbers wise, that's the best ball I've hit so far. Um, launched at 12 and a half, spun at 1900, 150 smash factor, 296 carry, 322, 171 ball speed. So I'm gonna, I'm actually just gonna try and hit this one a little bit harder just cause I'm curious to see what, what I can do today. Um, cause it seems like it's coming out of the middle. Yeah, I mean, what I think I'm noticing, and this is a trend that I saw in the other direction for Titleist, um, I didn't play TSR because I didn't spin it enough. This is spinning more than the, the previous paradigm, like full stop, three, four, 500 RPMs. I didn't get any of the like 14, 1500 runs. So if you're a really high spin guy, you might actually wanna look at paradigm, standard paradigm, because you're definitely gonna get a little bit more spin. One thing to note, and I'll, sh I'll, I'll tell this to people too, is like, there's two weight ports. We have these drivers set up the exact same. If you were someone who wanted this one and wanted to spin it a little bit less, put the heavy weight in the front. I can't even get it in the air when it's there. So the spin drops down a ton, which is more like standard paradigm, but I can't set up standard paradigm to work for me as well as this does. So I think for, for the average person, you're gonna find that like a little bit more efficient every once in a while off, off, off center strikes. But for me, it's the spin consistency. And like that one, I went at a, a little bit harder. So I swung about two, three miles an hour faster, 118 there. Smash factor is still very good, 148. Um, I obviously didn't middle it as much, but great numbers there. 2300 spin with 13 and a half launch. So, I'll, and I'll take 303 carry any day. In a moment, we're gonna hit triple diamond max, which I have never hit before because it was never an offering that Callaway gave to the, the general public, but we're gonna see how it compares to. I might draw it a little bit more, but we're gonna test that in a moment here. That's a really good one to finish on. So lovely little cut. I will take that every day. If I was playing the US Open, I'd be okay with that. So triple diamond max. So this is, again, like I said, they didn't offer it previous generation. So this is the first time I've ever seen it. And it's the first time ever, I'm ever gonna hit it. So you're gonna kind of see my first impressions. Um, it looks a little bit bigger. So it's a little larger face. It's not as on set. So it looks more like a tr traditional driver. Um, for those of you that know, Triple Diamond very much sits forwards of the hosel. This is more normal. Um, so it looks like a little bit of a longer heel to toe, but let's try it out. In theory, it should draw more too, but we're gonna see if, if that's the case. Let's test it out. I hit that on the heel, but it should be okay. Yeah, so it's staying up there, that's good. Not a bad first one. Just a little hooky, which I kind of expected. That's more on me, that's not the driver. I hit that in the heel. It's still pretty good, high 160s ball speed, higher spin, which we expected, 25. That was really good. Straight. Good one there. Spinning though. Interesting, interesting. Let me hit one more. Didn't like that 
strike. That was, I didn't think it was that bad, but yeah, I just didn't hit it very well. But okay, let's try one more here. It's really good. That's the one thing that like, my first thought is for the right player, it's gonna be fantastic. For the right player is, it spins a lot more than, than triple diamond. So this is spinning probably four or 500 RPMs more. I hit a couple that were really good that were like 26, that was 27 and a half, which for me is a little bit too high. Um, it's launching good, it's carrying really solidly, but it is drawing more. So I think if you're someone who wants all the lower spin things that you get out of Triple Diamond, maybe look at the max, because you might spin it a little bit more, but it might be a little bit easier to kind of square up the face. Um, my tendency is to miss left. This definitely increased that tendency a little bit. So I would say where Triple Diamond is like on this end of the spectrum for fade biasness, say this is middle, it's still here. It's not a super draw bias driver, but it's not quite past center here yet. So um, I would probably just for my own bag, I would probably continue to play standard triple diamond, but I'm actually really excited to show Matt this and have him try it because his tendency is to kind of wipe it a little bit and, and miss it. And I think this is gonna help that a lot, so. I just put the 10 and a half degree head in the standard, standard triple diamond because the, the triple diamond max we have is 10 and a half degrees. And I wanted to see if it was just the loft that was creating more spin, but this is 10 and a half degrees that spun like four or 500 less. So it is definitely partially the head that's, that's helping that, partially the loft, but triple diamond max definitely spins more. Um, it seems like even in 10 and a half degrees, like I launched it at 14, it's pointed at 24. I'm gonna try one more here and see what I can do. It's as high as I've ever launched a golf ball. Interesting. Okay, so that's 23 again with 17 degrees of launch. So this definitely spins lower, right? And it's more fade bias for sure. I felt like I was gonna hook that a bit and I actually hit a beautiful little cut. So it's interesting. It's seemingly, we were right the first time, right? So the nice thing is I just wanted to see, cause I mean, for, for us to, at home, if you're comparing the nine degree versus the 10 and a half degree versus the older one, you can kind of get a good idea of what it's going to do in your bag and who it's for. And I would say like, you'll see my numbers on screen, but I hit up on it quite a bit. So for me, I don't really need 10 and a half degrees of loft, but I could definitely launching it that high and carrying it that far is not a disadvantage by any means. So I'm just gonna swing one more for fun, hit it hard. So the big question on everybody's mind was what does Paradigm Triple Diamond Max do versus standard Triple Diamond? Well, what I found is it spins a little bit more. It's a bigger head, so in theory it's more forgiving. Um, I noticed that it sits a little bit more upright. I hit it a little bit more in the heel every once in a while, but the heel strikes were really good. It spins a bit more and it draws a little bit more than Triple Diamond. So it's kind of what I expected. It's what Callaway told us it was gonna be, um, but you always have to test it. So we found that it is kind of the case. I think there's a few interesting builds that you could do with this, right, with where the weights are and things like that, but it's definitely a driver that if you are someone who wants to kind of knock a little bit of spin off um, and maybe a, a, a right miss is your miss, great driver. For me though, I'm gonna stay with the standard triple diamond. Um, I've had great success with it in the last couple months. Um, I love the shaft pairing with it as well, and I feel very confident when I kind of stand behind the golf ball. So. We've done a bunch of other Callaway videos as well. There's a great one here if you wanna just click on this, this link here. We appreciate it. Subscribe, thanks guys.